This design was not only aesthetically unique but also aided in stability and control. Unlike most aircraft of its time, the P-59 had a tricycle landing gear configuration with a nose wheel and two main wheels. This made it easier to take off and land, especially on runways. The P-59 was designed with streamlined contours, reducing air resistance and enhancing its speed and maneuverability. The cockpit featured an ergonomic layout, with easy access to the controls and excellent visibility for the pilot. The P-59-era Comet enjoyed a notable competitive advantage over other fighters of the World War II era, mainly due to its jet engine. Traditional propeller-driven fighters, like the P-51 Mustang or the Supermarine Spitfire, were limited in terms of speed and altitude. The P-59's jet propulsion allowed it to reach higher altitudes and engage enemy aircraft with a significant speed advantage. The P-59's speed and altitude capabilities made it an ideal aircraft for intercepting high-flying enemy bombers. It could climb quickly to engage targets and escape if necessary. Its jet engine also provided a faster rate of climb than propeller-driven aircraft. The jet engine's reliability and speed were impressive, and this paved the way for further research and development. The lessons learned from the P-59 would eventually lead to the creation of more advanced jet fighters, such as the P-80 Shooting Star, which saw combat during the Korean War. While the P-59-era Comet did not have a chance to participate in combat during World War II, it did make its mark in the world of aviation. It was used extensively for testing and training purposes. Test pilots pushed the aircraft to its limits, gathering valuable data that would influence the design of future fighter jets. These tests were instrumental in understanding the complexities of jet propulsion and aerodynamics. The P-59 also served as a training platform for pilots who would later fly jet-powered aircraft in combat. This ensured that when the United States eventually entered the jet age in earnest, its pilots would be well prepared for the challenges of flying these advanced machines. The operational history of the P-59-era Comet is closely tied to its role as a developmental and training aircraft. It never saw combat during World War II, but its legacy lived on in the form of the knowledge and experience gained from its use. The data collected from its test flights played a crucial role in shaping the future of American military aviation. While the P-59-era Comet was a groundbreaking aircraft in many ways, it had its limitations. One of its significant drawbacks was that it entered the scene too late to have a significant impact on World War II. By the time it was ready for production, the war was drawing to a close. Due to its late introduction and the rapid advancements in jet technology, only a small number of P-59s were produced.